I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on the different types of R640 chassis and as a whole we're going to use this as a good time to just do an overview of the entire chassis. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, so this video is going to be specifically focused on the different types of chassis for the R640, which there are five different types of chassis, and we have four of them featured here. And what we're going to do is cover what are all the differences between them, uh, which are really going to come down to three main differences, which is, are going to be uh, the number of bay counts, so the storage, uh, the uh, number of PCIe slots, which is very much determined by the storage, and if it accepts NVMe. Those are the big differences. A little side note difference is the optical drive. Uh, specifically only two of them accept it. So let's just go and hop in. What are the five different types of chassis for the R640? Well, you have the four bay large form factor, which is a great system for storage. If you want to stuff in larger 3.5 inch drives, you have the eight bay small form factor. And then there are three different versions of the 10 bay small form factor. So the first version is a 10 bay three PCIe slot and all three PCIe slots are low profile. The next one is a 10 bay where you have two PCIe slots and that's going to be one low profile and one high profile. And then you have a 10 bay by two where you have 10 in the front and a rear kit in the back that you can install two more into that leaves you with one PCIe slot which is a low profile. And then as far as these two right here, you're going to get um, with the four bay it's going to be two, pro, uh, two profiles, one low, one high. And with the eight bay it's going to be three low profile uh, PCIe slots. So those are the, uh, the differences as a whole. Now one other thing that I did want to note is that you can only use NVMe with the 10 bay chassis and you do have to have special cables to do that. Um, and you can do it a number of different ways if you only want to have, let's just say, uh, eight drives that accept NVMe. Uh, you'll need a couple of, um, I think it's actually three cables for that. If you want to go all the way up to 12, you're going to need to get an additional cable. Um, so depending on the, the setup that you want, um, and you can refer to our NVMe video that'll get a little bit more in depth with uh, the different options for NVMe. And the other thing I wanted to know on the side note was optical drives. Uh, you, can, you do not have space with the 10 bay in the front to be able to install an optical drive. You do have to have either the four bay large form factor or the eight bay small form factor if you do want an optical drive. So, all right, now that we know a little bit more about the differences, let's go ahead and open these up and let's show you a side-by-side -side comparison and we'll point out uh, just a general overview of all the different components inside, even though this series as a whole is going to cover in depth each individual component, but we'll use this as a good time to do a great overview. Let's hop in. All right, so we're going to start with two chassis first, the four bay large form factor and the eight bay small form factor. So we're going to pop both latches and we're going to lift our tops and remove them just like any server you've ever been in before. So one of the things I did want to note uh, before we got too far, you might notice that the, uh, the back plane here is actually a little bit further back and this chassis as a whole is about uh, maybe an inch and a half, two inches longer back here. And the reason being the large form factor drives are longer than a small form factor drive. So as a whole, the chassis is just a little bit longer uh, for the four bay compared to the eight bay, uh, which also makes it slightly heavier as well. So a uh, very minor difference that I did want to point out. So uh, as a whole, um, you'll see that the chassis look very, very similar. Uh, you do have your back plane, and obviously this is going to be eight uh, small form factor versus four large form factor, which is one big difference. Uh, you have your space for your optical drive, um, and then you're going to have all your fans, your air baffle, your dual dual CPUs, and these are your heat sinks on top. You're going to have your 24 DIMM slots for all of your uh, memory modules. You have your spot right here for your mini mono RAID card. You have your spot back here for your network daughter card. Uh, you have your PCIe slots. So for the 8-bay, you'll notice there are three PCIe slots, which is going to be one, two, and three. All of them are low profile. And over here for the 4-bay uh, large form factor, you're going to have two PCIe slots, one of them being uh, low profile and one of them being high profile. Uh, one of the big differences as a whole between these two chassis. So, and then of course they have uh, dual power supplies and uh, which are redundant and uh, pretty normal for a power edge server as a whole. So, all right, so those are uh, just a general highlight of the chassis and uh, some of the differences. Now we're going to go ahead and pop open uh, the 10 bay, which is a the one, the one that we're going to show you is a three low profile PCI. And then we're going to show you the 10 bay by two, which only has one low profile PCI. All right, so now we're going to compare the 10 bay by two and the 10 bay three PCIe slots. So we're just going to pop our latch and lift it open pretty much like any Dell server you've been in before. 
and you will note this is the one we've been building in the series. Uh, you will note that uh, as a whole, it's going to look very similar to the ones you just saw. Uh, there is no option up here for an optical drive. That is one of the big differences. And then, of course, the back plane has 10 slots up here as opposed to the 4 bay large form factor or the 8 bay small form factor. And then, again, everything's going to be the same from there. You're looking at all your fan uh, your fan banks, you're going to have uh, your air baffle, you're going to have your two CPUs, your 24 DIMM slots, your RAID card, uh, you're going to have your PCIe slots, you're going to have your daughter card down below. Now I will note uh, to put the daughter card into the 10 bay by 2, you actually have to remove the uh, 10 bay uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the two bay kit out of the way in order to install the uh, network daughter card below it, which is a very easy thing that we'll show you how to do in our uh, uh, network card video. Uh, but as a whole, you'll see everything is the exact same. I do want to note one of the big differences about the 10 bay by two is there is one PCIe slot. It, that's the only limitation as a whole. Otherwise, this is a great option. It's one of my favorites personally, just because you have extra storage. Uh, but if you do need more than one PCIe slot, then this is not a great option. If you only need one PCIe slot, then this is the best option. So uh, as a whole, those are the differences that you're gonna see in your chassis. And if there's anything that you're looking for specifically, we stock a ton of Dell R640s and Dell as a whole. So please uh, email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com. We stock Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. We have new, we have used. AMD Ryzen's, AMD Epics, Intel Scalable, Intel E3, E5, you name it, we do the whole life cycle. Or if you're just looking for some spare parts, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home lab's business. Thanks again for stopping by, guys. Take care.